Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday, so it's weigh in day. We're gonna talk about my week, week one back to maintenance after my eight week cut as well as the Weight Watchers workshop topic and of course my weigh in. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Stop by the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized, customized to you macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk to me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you. So let's jump into my first week back to maintenance, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a pretty good week this week. It is my first week back to maintenance after my eight week cut. Last Friday, I shared with you my final weigh in for my eight week cut, basically meaning I'm in a caloric deficit, trying to lean down for eight weeks. The reasoning for this was because I have my 30 year high school reunion coming up in literally just about a month from today. And I wanted to lean down, go in a deficit for a short period, see what my body could do for my 30 year reunion. So if you missed last week's weigh in, I'll link it down below for you. You can get all the details on what happened with my eight week cut. So starting on Saturday, I went back into maintenance, back into eating enough calories to essentially maintain my weight loss. And it was definitely welcomed. Like I said, I was over being in a cut, I was over being in a calorie deficit. We should go into spurts of deficit, spurts of maintenance. We shouldn't just be on a diet for an entire year. We need to go in and out of a caloric deficit to really keep our metabolism going and to really benefit from that deficit. You have to have periods of maintenance. And as of now, I'm in a period of maintenance, which basically means that I'm eating enough calories to maintain my current weight. Now my calories flex throughout the week. Some days I eat more than others, but I typically, I try to eat at least 2000 calories a day, which for me is a little bit of a deficit. And that's why I say that I flex those calories. There are some days that I eat right at maintenance and there are some calories that I eat a little bit under maintenance, but I do not eat less than 2000 calories per day. That is what is recommended for my body for maintenance. If you wanna know what you should be eating for a deficit or maintenance, definitely have your macros and calories done. That is a service that I offer as a weight loss and nutrition coach. I'll have my website at the top of the description box for you. But I'm feeling really good, being able to eat a little bit more, being able to have a treat meal every single week, and really being able to focus more on fueling my body and maintaining my weight than being in that deficit. I will say that it was a little bit challenging going from eating five, six, 700 less calories a day to eating more. There were days that I just wasn't very hungry and that's probably because my body is still recovering, my metabolism is still recovering from that eight week cut. So we'll see as time goes on if my appetite increases back to being able to eat enough calories every day to truly maintain my weight. I just need to give my body time to adjust. And that's a very, very normal when you go from a period of a deficit to maintenance. So it's been an interesting week as far as navigating that. I mentioned in last week's weigh-in that the following day on Saturday, I was going to the lake to kayak and hang out with my friends from boot for our girls day for boot camp. Well, I ended up not going to the lake because if you know Arizona, we have what's called monsoon season. And this is when we typically have a lot of rain and storms. It is very needed for the desert. So we appreciate the monsoons. It typically lowers the temperature a little bit, which is a reprieve from the over 100 degree summer days. We are in the start of monsoon season and Saturday the weather was terrible. They were expecting storms and lightning and the last place you wanna be when there's lightning is on water. So I ended up not going to the lake. Now, a few of the girls went, but I decided to go ahead and stay home. I ended up doing a little bit of shopping at Costco, which you'll see in tomorrow's grocery haul, and just spent the day hanging out with Troy and the dogs, and it was a really good, relaxing Saturday. I was a little disappointed not to be able to go kayaking. I haven't even gotten to take out my kayak, my blow-up kayak that I bought this last year. So we are planning on another lake day a little bit in the, later in the summer 
wind, there's not a risk for storms and monsoons. Typically by August, the beginning of September, monsoon season is over and we have just amazing, beautiful weather again. So we're just planning on a second lake day this summer. I got in all of my activity this week. I went to boot camp. I did my train well, formerly co-pilot workouts. Actually, my workouts just change, so I get to do my new set of workouts tomorrow. I love that about Trainwell and my coach Kayleen is she changes my workouts about every four to six weeks, so I never get tired of them. I'm always working different muscle groups, and it really just keeps me more motivated to get in my workouts. I will tell you it has been absolutely miserable at boot camp, absolutely miserable. With the monsoons comes humidity, and mosquitoes. So we are in the height of both of those things. I am so sweaty at boot camp because of the humidity. On Monday, my hair was literally soaking wet, like dripping down my back after boot camp. It was absolutely disgusting. And then the mosquitoes come out. So I just ordered mosquito pants on Amazon. I'll insert a picture here. If you are someone that works out outside or you like to go to the lake or fish when the mosquitoes are out, these pants are game changing. You just put them right over your workout pants or whatever you're wearing and the mosquitoes can't bite through the material. So I ordered them off of Amazon, less than $15. It's going to save my legs from mosquito bites. They actually have a shirt as well and with like a hood and everything. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. That's a little overkill for me. I'll just add bug spray to my upper body, but what I find for me is the mosquitoes typically will gravitate towards my legs. So I'm hoping that these mosquito pants are going to save me for the next few months of boot camp. We do work out outside year round, so the mosquitoes, they're in full force around here. But overall, I had a great week. I had a great week of food, I had a great week of workouts, and we're gonna talk about what that great week led to on the scale. But before we do, let's chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is stuck in a food rut this will help. A lot of people gravitate towards the same foods on a weight loss journey. The foods that they know work for them, the foods that are low in calorie, low in points, that keep them full and satisfied. It is, however, really important to change it up. Like I mentioned, Kayleen changing my workouts up every four to six weeks. We should also be changing up our food pretty regularly because our body can get used to those foods and they just aren't as beneficial to our weight loss journey as they once were. Not to mention, we can get bored of those same foods. We can find foods that we love and then end up hating those foods down the road. So it's really important not to get stuck in a food rut, which is very common. I've definitely been in a food rut and I want to share with you some ways to get out of it. Try a new to you ingredient. Build a meal around things you don't normally cook with. Maybe that's lentils, tofu, cottage cheese, or other zero point or low point low calorie foods. Get ideas in the what I eat tab in the Weight Watchers app tap recipes and search by food. You can also watch my what I eat in a day videos because I share the foods that I'm eating. Switch up your prep method. If you love your go-to ingredients, change how you make or use them. Are you used to sauteing your food? Break out the grill or air fryer or look for a stew or soup recipe. Play around with flavors, herbs, spices, and supporting ingredients can make standbys like chicken and veggies taste brand new. Take inspo from around the globe. Try flavors from Greece, Thailand, China, or Mexico. Maybe you eat the same egg sandwich every morning, or you eat the same yogurt as a snack, or you meal prep the same chicken bowl or something pretty similar to it every week for lunch. Don't get me wrong, this is a great thing to think about because it helps keep you on track. You're choosing the foods that you know work for your weight loss journey. But like I said, your body's going to get used to that, you're going to get bored of it, and it's really important to change it up so that you stay motivated to continue on your health journey. Switch things up every once in a while, even if it's just using a different spice on the chicken that you prep every single week. It's going to make it feel brand new to you. Now, I meal prep every week. I've been doing this since the beginning of my weight loss journey, even in maintenance. I still meal prep every week. So I'm always making a different breakfast, different lunch, different snack for the week. I will tell you though, full transparency, full honesty, I do get tired of my meal prep sometimes. So I don't eat it every single day. I space it out throughout the week. I just make sure that I eat it all by the end of the week, obviously not to waste any food and to eat what I prepped, but I definitely change it up throughout the week. I can't eat the same breakfast, lunch, and snack every single day, but I can eat it periodically throughout the week and have those healthy options. 
options on hand. I'm always trying to find new food finds. If you watch my grocery hauls, I'm always bringing in new foods to try. I'm ordering foods off of websites like Nutrition to try. If there's a new protein powder out, I'm gonna try it. If there's a new protein bar, I'm going to try it. If there's a new flavor of yogurt, I'm gonna try it. And that's really important, again, to keep you motivated on your health journey. And so your body just doesn't get stuck in a rut of the same food over and over again. I know for me, having different foods throughout my weight loss journey was really beneficial to me. And I get excited to try new foods and new snacks. Let me know down below, do you feel like you're in a rut? Do you feel like you eat the same foods day after day after day? And which one of these tips are you going to implement so that you can change it up a little bit, which I, which can actually lead to more weight loss than eating those same foods that you've relied on for the past weeks, months, or even years. I really like this topic because we all get stuck in a food rut, especially when we know that certain things work for us. I've done this, I continue to do this, I try to be mindful about changing up my food, and I promise you it does definitely help, not only with weight loss, but to keep you motivated long term. Speaking of weight loss, let's talk about my weigh in. So like I said, I just finished out an eight week cut, essentially meaning I was in a deficit, now I'm eating at maintenance. It's been quite the transition. There's, like I said, been many days that I haven't gotten in all of my calories, so I been in maybe the tiniest, tiniest mild deficit this week. Not enough to have substantial weight loss, but definitely not right at maintenance to maintain my current weight. I also just finished up ovulation and ovulation for me always leads to an increase on the scale. So my weight was actually up a couple of pounds the majority of this week. It did start to level out about midweek when I was out of ovulation. That is what my body does. I have certain periods of the month that my weight is always up. You have to learn your body so that you don't get discouraged when your weight goes up for reasons, for things that you can't control, like ovulation, maybe on your cycle, specific foods that you eat that maybe cause you to be bloated or inflamed. You have to truly learn your body so that you're not upset about the scale moving, sometimes in the wrong direction, unwillingly. I just stuck to my diet. I stuck to my water, stuck to my workouts. And when I stepped on the scale today, I weigh exactly the same as I did last week. So that's a big win. Maintenance means maintaining my weight, and that's exactly what I did this week. I was able to take off the weight gain, AKA weight fluctuation, that happened based on my ovulation, based on my cycle, based on my hormones, and was able to maintain my weight by the end of the week. And I couldn't be more happy with that. I really appreciate a maintenance. I don't even mind going up or down just a little bit, but I really appreciate just a solid maintenance for the week. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right on my maintenance journey. I feel really good at moving into this next week. Some of my goals are to try to increase my calories a little bit more regularly, to try to get as close to those maintenance calories as possible, but also listening to my body. And if I'm not hungry, I'm not going to eat simply because I have calories to eat. I'm going to make sure that I'm not in a severe deficit. Again, that I personally am eating 2000 or more calories every single day, but being mindful and listening to my actual hunger cues, because that's really important to transition into intuitive eating down the road and not having to track my food forever. And like I mentioned in my, how I healed my relationship with food video, that is my ultimate goal. Speaking of that video, that video is highly, highly re been requested time and time again. And honestly, I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't have more traction because it is such a great video and eight things that I did to heal my relationship with food, which ultimately led to me losing 140 pounds. So if for some reason you missed that video, please check it out. It took me a long time to put that video together. I invested a lot of time into it and really thinking through what I actually did that led to weight loss and sustainability. So I will link that video down below for you. I would appreciate it if you checked it out. I'm hoping that these tips help change the game for you and help you heal your relationship with food as well, because that is one thing that has really helped me maintain my weight loss. So I'll link that video down below if you missed it. So I'm looking forward to this next week. We'll see where it takes us. We'll see about getting in my calories, drinking my water, moving my body and doing the things that I know make me feel better on my health journey overall. And I'm going to try some new foods this week. There's some interesting fruits and vegetables out this time of year that I want to try. And one of my goals is to include more plant-based foods. When I read the lentils as part of the Weight Watchers workshop topic, it reminded me that I need to incorporate more plant-based foods, beans, legumes, 
for fiber and protein into my diet. So that's my goal this next week. So now I want to hear from you. How was your week? How was your weigh-in? Let me know if you get in a food rut and what you want to do to change that. And let me know some of your go-to foods. Maybe it'll inspire me and others to try some new foods this week. And of course, let me know how your weigh-in was. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful, give it a big thumbs up. Check out that description box for my How I Healed My Relationship with Food video, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. I will see you in tomorrow's massive grocery haul. I went to Costco. We stocked up. I got a lot of new things to share and a big, big haul for you. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.